Hey, it's Jody Jody Taylor of Snacky Says. Welcome or welcome back to my podcast, the Snacky Says Podcast. Today's gonna be a short and sweet one for you. We're chatting about snacks. Snacks, food, bread, a couple of condiments. Um, these are things that I've been enjoying for a while. Some of them are recent faves, so let's get into it. Let's do fruits first. Um, I don't generally love citrus, but for some reason, maybe my body needs um, vitamin D. For some reason, I've been loving mandarins lately and green apples, which are apropos, apropos for the fall. I know we're not quite in fall, but it's starting to feel like that. It's starting to feel like autumn to me. Um, any other fruits? No, but let's talk about dried fruits for a moment. Uh, I usually eat raisins every day because I put them in my overnight oats and I also love dried figs um the ones from BJ's are dried I want to say Kalamata but that's olive dried Caligura figs I'll put the link I'll put everything I'll put the links for everything in the show notes um and then dates I love dates dried dates um okay so let's do breads Bread, there are only two types of bread that I eat, at least the last year and a half, unless I go out, which is not often. Um, I, I cannot say no to a good bread basket. Who can? Am I right? Um, so Dave's Killer. I love their Dave's Killer's Plain Bagels. Those are my favorite, even though I think I've tried all of their bagels at this point. And 21. It's 21 whole grains and seeds. Now, Dave's Killer has a whole bunch of flavors and different types of bread and bagels. And I think they might even have English muffins. But those two are my favorite. And sourdough bread bought from a bakery. I say that because I got uh, Tampa Bay sour bread from Amazon Kitchen. And it was, I, it, it was just okay. It was like less than okay. It had to almost chemically something about it it kind of reminded me don't, no disrespect if you still eat this bread or if you eat this bread like wonder bread back in the day like a kind of chemically i don't know vibe or taste to it um i love fresh sourdough bread if you can get it from a bakery i think that's not there's nothing like it Ugh. okay <laughs> i'm thinking about bread let's move on snacks uh hippies Cheese puffs, the nacho vibes. This is very important because the first time I tried hippies, um, most of these snacks, if not all of them, are vegan or most certainly non-dairy. But I'll put links in the show notes and you can see what's what. Um, so hippies, hippies is a vegan snack. Uh, I think they taste amazing. The nacho vibes, the white cheddar and cheddar to me are just okay. I know that there are folks who think the opposite. But don't start with those. That's my advice. The Nacho Vibes kind of remind me of Doritos. If you love Doritos and you usually eat Doritos, this is not for you. <laughs> I haven't had Doritos in so long. I, I, I was so overjoyed when I tasted these Nacho Vibes um, non-dairy cheese puffs. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm in heaven. Next up, Siete brand has a salt and vinegar chip, uh, kettle salt and vinegar chips that I just love. They come I believe in four ounce bags, so they're not single serve and they're not family size, uh, but it's probably too much to eat one bag in one sitting, so what do I do? Eat one bag in one sitting, because they're so good. They're so, so good. I'm just giving you a warning. If, if, you, if you like salt and vinegar chips, I think you're gonna love these. I also, since I'm talking about Siete, wanna mention their Mexican wedding cookies. They are my favorite cookies. Siete brand Mexican wedding cookies. Um, okay, so cookies. Simple Mills, they have a double, I call it double chocolate, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's the name. It's, the, it's like a dark chocolate cookie, the most okay cookies you'll ever eat. You're not in danger. I'm talking about myself of sitting down and like knocking out the box. Two to four and you're probably set, or at least I am. Um, they also have a chocolate chip that's also really good. Let's talk about crackers. Um, Simple Mills, rosemary crackers, and sea salt crackers. All amazing. I think that's about it snack-wise um, and food-wise. I gave you fruits, snacks, even... Um, did I say condiments? Let me say that just in case I did it. Um, Primal Kitchen buffalo sauce. If you love buffalo sauce, I think you'll love it. It is a small bottle. It's a vegan... Um, 
It's vegan buffalo sauce. I like it because I just, you know, since I don't eat, if you don't know, I don't eat chicken or, or meat or eggs right now. And they're like, I just kind of miss the taste of some things. Now I happen to put this on my pasta. Like I mixed it, I mixed some shrimp in it um, and put it on my pasta and I loved it. What does what buffalo sauce taste good on? Does it taste good on shrimp? I think so. What does it taste amazing on? Chicken, but I don't eat chicken right now. Um, and then vegan mayo. I really love vegan mayo, in particular the brand Follow Your Heart. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, I did say short and sweet. Sorry, my phone has been locking. I don't know if you've heard it the last few episodes, that clickety clack at the end is me unlocking my phone. This never used to happen. I don't know why this keeps happening. All right, let me end here. Please let me know if there are any snacks or treats or things that you eat often um, that you you just must have. These are my, my must haves, except for the buffalo sauce, which is fairly new, but I think it's gonna be on my must have list shortly. All right. Thank you so much for listening. If you enjoyed this episode or any of my podcast episodes, please join, please subscribe our snacky, subscribe to our snacky says newsletter. You'll get emails or notifications whenever I drop a weekly podcast, which is Sundays at 11, 17 AM Eastern standard time or a monthly newsletter. I do occasionally do impromptu posts here and there. So you'd get a notification as well. Um, and of course, please share with a friend or three. You can find uh, Snacky Says newsletter and podcast and post at jody.substack.com. That's J-O-D-D-I-E dot substack.com. Thanks so much for listening.